Nova Legacy's Update 2 has revitalized the weapon system and invites you to become a master at arms. Finding the right kill stick for you doesn't just mean finding the one with the biggest bang. No, you must know how you play to be aware of your strengths and weaknesses to pick the perfect tool for the job. With this update, Nova's six models of gun now come in three different classes, common, rare and epic. All of these provide different functionality, altering the way they play and handle. Unlock each class of weapon by collecting cards and crafting them, then set to work discovering which suits your playstyle. If there's one weapon that should be in any warrior's utility belt, it's the sidearm. Individual shots with these smaller guns may not be the most powerful, but they balance this with unlimited ammunition, good handling, and the fact they're always on hand when you have your back against the wall. Handguns are the most popular variety of sidearm. Sure, if you're facing off against an angry tank, they may not be the best choice, but it is always reliable. And when it comes to low power, the common handgun is definitely the weakest. However, this pea shooter's accuracy and tracking make it the guaranteed way to do some quick damage. Just hold that trigger down and unload. It's the perfect starting weapon, but it can also find a place in an experienced player's arsenal when they want to quickly switch to something accurate to finish off an escaping opponent. If you look to the rare class of handgun, things change slightly. Where the common handgun has fairly strong tracking, this grade of weapon has double shot burst fire. Ammo is still unlimited, but now you have to be more active in tracking your target. On the plus side though, the increased power of the double tap can quickly take down enemies, providing you hit them. Epic handguns buck the trend of these smaller weapons being weak by giving a magnum style punch. The downside? Well, it has a slow rate of fire and it's pretty hard to handle and target, so you'll have to be a skilled player to really make the most of this extra kick. Even some experienced players may decide not to pick this weapon to make sure their plan B isn't ruined by some dodgy aiming. Handguns are not the only sidearm available to all you power armoured wearing PvP sci-fi warriors. There is also the plasma gun. This is an energy powered weapon that recharges as opposed to reloading, so more sizzle than bang. The common plasma gun is actually very similar to the handgun. Perhaps this is because it's the Xeno's equivalent of the human standard sidearm. With good control, it's perfect for anyone who just wants to pull it out and get off a few shots to finish a foe. Plus the auto tracking makes it perfect for noobs who are trying to get used to the handling. Rare plasma guns similarly draw inspiration from their rare handgun counterpart. Firing two shots at once, you can watch these energy balls rotate around each other as they spring from the barrel of your weapon. But this isn't just pretty, it also increases the damage radius. This is an incredibly balanced gun, dealing a good amount of damage while still offering decent control and rate of fire. If you're lucky enough to get the epic plasma gun, do consider carefully if it will work with your playstyle, because this weapon is high damage but also high skill. Powering up and releasing this gun's powerful ball of energy can quickly take out foes. Its area of effect can even damage hidden enemies. But you have to be sure you won't miss. It's slow to recharge and you could find yourself defenseless. Sidearms are fun, but the first step into the real weapons are the assault rifles. These short medium range weapons offer a high rate of continuous fire with relatively good control. Lock and load and prepare to pin down your enemies with a hail of bullets. The basic common rifle is a great all-round weapon to learn what works for you. With its rapid fire and great accuracy, you can assess if your strength lies in your unflinching aim or if you need a little extra assistance and a lot of bullets. When you feel you're ready to move up a class of assault rifle, there are other options for you. Assault rifles of the rare variety offer a very different firing experience. Firing in three shot bursts, this rifle is great as your skill increases and you're able to master a slightly more refined, targeted attack style with less spray and prey. Target and track your enemies well and they won't have a chance. Plus, like most rare weapons, it's incredibly well balanced. Epic assault rifles add a little more power to this rapid fire weapon mod. In the right hands, this is truly a devastating weapon, but you have to know how to use it. Spitting out this many bullets at this speed, it can quickly overheat, forcing you to wait for its cooling system to kick in before you can get back and re-engage. Land your shots and they're dead. Miss and you're in a whole lot of trouble. All these middle range weapons not personal enough for you? Like to see the reflection in their eye sensors before you pull the trigger? Then what you need is a shotgun. And with three flavors of these on offer in update two, there should be at least one to match your tastes. The common starter shotgun may be primarily designed as a weapon for newcomers, but it offers a good amount of kick and can be effectively used by players of all levels. Powerful up close and with plenty of aim assist, even the newest Nova noobs will find themselves racking up the kills. That said, slow reloads can punish you if you miss. If you don't feel the common shotgun, offers enough pure power then upgrading to the faster firing speed of the pump action rare version could be the solution. Ch -ch -ch Boom! 
Its reduced aim assist can leave the less experienced a bit spun around however, as targets that are moving past you at speed can be hard to track for a second shot. You'll need to be quick fingered to make the most of this one. If you think your skills have ascended and you want to put it all on the line with the ultimate risk reward, then you need the superpowered double barrel shotty. Coming loaded with exploding shells, this is two chambers of boom that can quickly take out well, pretty much anything at close range. A devastating, but hard to tame weapon. At the other end of the spectrum to the shotgun is the sniper rifle. It may be hard to hit anyone up close with this long range death tube, but if you have the skills, you'll be able to pick them off like flies from a distance. A weak sniper rifle would be pretty useless, so even the common entry for this class of weapon is devastating in the right hands. High damage and reasonable handling mean that with this gun you'll see your number of headshots and one shot kills starting to climb. Slow reload and tracking do mean that you'll have to exhibit plenty of skill to pull this off though, especially under pressure. With a similar shooting style to the common rifle, the rare weapon sacrifices some power to receive a higher rate of fire. You'll have to master a double shot to the head with this automatic rifle to make the most of this class, but if you miss you haven't left yourself wide open, meaning taking down people in one shot is not as vital. High caliber, high powered, high lethality. You can take out all of your foes quickly with the epic sniper rifle and make no mistake. The impact of these rounds mean that you will kill most foes with a single shot, and if not, the damage over time should finish the job for you. Oh, the downside? It's really hard to handle. Does all of this talk of close and long range not appeal? A tactics and afterthought to your play style. Does big boom make it boom bigger? best sum up the way you play. Well then do I have a weapon for you. The rocket launcher, the tube of noob, the faboom that makes the room go boom with everyone in it. So yeah, keep your distance. Even the common launcher will turn your foes into a fine red mist. PvP pate if you will. However its slow rate of fire, reload and shot speed means that it's far from a versatile destruction machine if your opponents see it coming. It's not even that easy to handle, so only use it when you have the time and the space. While the rare rocket launcher may have slightly lower damage than its common counterpart, it can fire multiple smaller rockets at once, and that should up the damage and balance things out. It also features a high rate of fire and better handling. The result is a tactical rocket launcher? Wait, that can't be right. All my notes say about the epic rocket launcher is massive heat-seeking devastation. Honestly, in most cases there's a trade-off between the guns, but here that is really limited. Sure, it only holds one in the chamber, making it a bit more one and done than its rare cousin, but it's still a homing weapon of mass destruction that's hard to argue with. Play Nova Legacy and work out your own perfect loadout from this incredible new range of diverse weapons in Update 2.